Maybe it's because I am a crazy person. <sighs> May not seem that impressive, but I'm pretty impressed. And you wanna know, I'm proud of this. Everybody, we are back. It is a new week here at the ranch build. And as you can see behind me, we got a machine. This is gonna make my roofing a lot easier because, oh, there's a bunch of eagles flying over. I can just lift this whole pallet of shingles right there up on the roof. I don't have to be hauling shingles up ladders anymore. I hate loading up shingles on the roof by hand. And this is what happens when you pinch your belly between a pallet and a bundle of shingles. Oh, burned so bad. So I got these five quarter by 10 fascia boards that go up the peaks here. We're gonna get those put on. We're gonna get the metal going up that side. We're gonna try and get a bunch done. I know I'm being very ambitious and I'm probably not gonna get as much as I want done today, but I've got this machine hopefully for a couple weeks and that will help us to get this whole roof done as well as getting the post and the beams up for the barn. I've got some more help coming on Friday. I got my good buddy, Alex, all the way from Wisconsin. He's gonna come out here and help me out for at least a couple weeks, hopefully. I've worked with him before. We work really good together. He's a hard worker. And so now we're gonna get stuff done and I am amped. There's one thing I wanted to show you before we got started here and we have a new tool here. So we ordered two pitch hoppers. Hold on a sec, let's get these out. So this is a pitch hopper. It's supposed to act like a portable set of roof jacks. And so it's supposed to just grip nice and tight. It's supposed to work really good on steeper roofs. We're gonna work on this and see how it works on the safe section, first of all. On the sections where we don't have a flat roof below us here, I still will be putting a set of solid metal roof jacks on the bottom. But if this thing works, I don't need to keep moving roof jacks all the time. I can just use this to move around and that'll save me a ton of time. We're gonna see how they work. I've seen them before. My buddy Jason has seen them before, but no one's used them. So we're gonna give it a shot today and see how they work. All right, everybody, we are back here. We are on the roof and this right here, the pitch hopper. These things are pretty stinking awesome, not gonna lie. I was very, very skeptical in the beginning because I just, it's one of those things you see on TV and you're like, mm, probably doesn't work. But we wanted to try it because this is such a big roof here and it's so steep. Any way that we can save some time by not having to take off roof jacks, put roof jacks on, take off roof jacks, put them on, would be awesome. And I think this is a game changer, especially for doing repairs on roofs. I think this is gonna be really, really great. For an instance like this, where I'm working by myself, it's gonna be really great. I would not trust this as your only source of not falling off a roof. When I get to the other sections where I don't have a 312 pitch, to fall down onto. I will 100% be in my harness attached to the roof. But at the end of the day, I think this pitch hopper thing is amazing. Probably one of the coolest infomercial-y type things that I've ever bought. In. Other than the banjo man, the banjo man was pretty good too. You'll catch more fish in more places with a banjo minnow or your money back, guaranteed. But this is pretty awesome. This thing works really, really well. It does what it says it does and it's pretty cool. And it's got a steep side and then it's got a lower pitch side. So, I mean, right now it's sitting on a 1012 and it looks perfect where it's at. But if I was gonna be on say a 612 or a 512 and I just wanted to have something to 
be a safety zone where I can put tools, stack a couple bundles of shingles on. It's really good. I'm a pretty tough critic when it comes to tool stuff. So I'm glad that we got to test them out and check them out and see what they do. I will give it two thumbs up. I can't do two. I'll give it two thumbs up. All right, everybody, it is a new morning here at the ranch. It took me a little longer this morning because I had to rebuild the whole deck of this basket. The guy that has this lift that I rent from is a really cool guy, and he said if I fixed the deck because it was falling apart, that he'd take a little bit of money off my rental, which I like that idea. So I had some scrap OSB. We just put it down, put a nice new edge on there, and we are calling it good. So we're gonna get this section of the fascia done so that I can shingle this section of roof right here. I got up as high as I'm gonna get right now because I need to start transferring over to the other side. Over here. I need to transfer over to that side, but in order to get over to that side, I need to do all the fascia over on that section so that I can do all my drip edge and start putting my starter strips and my shingles and everything. We're gonna work really hard to get as much of this as we can done today. And then we're gonna just work all the fascia around the other 312 section over there. Today and tomorrow are going to be kick butt days. And then at one o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, late Thursday night, I have to go and pick Alex up from the Amtrak. And yes, he's actually taking the train out here. Up until a couple weeks ago, I didn't know that Amtrak came to Sandpoint. So we're going to get back at it. Let's get to work, guys. And now I'm just running it up so we can do our, I think it's called a California cut. And that's at least what I've always called it. That's what I, I don't know. It's just a cut valley. That's all we're doing. We're not weaving it. And I didn't want to do metal valleys. So we are just doing a cut. As you can probably tell, this looks kind of funky here. And that's because in order to match the shingle lines from the other side, we have to have a cut right here in order to get everything to line up properly. And so I had to do quite a bit of math and a bunch of running around, chalking lines and making sure that everything is spot on because I don't wanna get up to the peak of this little thing here and find out that I'm an inch off or two inches off or more than a quarter inch off for that matter. But that's why it kind of looks funky here, just in case anybody's wondering. It's just something that has to happen because of the way the rest of the house laid out. And I wish it would have been a little easier, but it wasn't. Doesn't matter, at the end of the day, I got it all figured out. We're gonna get this roof done. As long as I'm on, then I'm not even gonna worry about shingling right now. I need to get the rest of this fascia on. I just wanted to make sure of where I was at, first of all, because this is kind of confusing. I don't know if I say this enough, but thank you to all of you guys who come on here and watch our videos and enjoy what we're doing here. We're not just only building a house and then this is gonna be done. This is our entire life. This is what we do. We farm, we build, we garden, we do all this stuff and we like to do projects. And so uh, by you guys 
hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button, the notification bell, commenting, letting us know what you guys wanna see, what you don't wanna see. Please do that because that helps us a lot. I want you guys to know that I appreciate it that you guys are coming here to watch me build this house. We really enjoy putting out these videos and B loves making the videos. And so by you guys subscribing and checking out our content and passing, passing it, passing it along and sharing it with other people, that's gonna be huge for us. And we're still gonna continue to do what we do anyway, because that's what we do. We like to do this kind of stuff. And either way, I'm still gonna be a insane person that thinks he can build a house by himself. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because that really does, it helps us out big time and hopefully we'll get to a point where we can just keep doing this and making videos for you guys. So we'll see you guys later. Oh, we're back guys. Hey, man, my hair looks like a crazy person. Maybe it's cause I am a crazy person. <sighs> we're gonna get going on this roof here. I've got some roof jacks right here and we're gonna go up a couple rows and then we're gonna put the roof jacks on there. And then from there, I can use the pitch hopper to go pretty far up this roof. If I have to put a second set of roof jacks up halfway up the roof, I will. I do have my harness here. So once I start moving around on the roof a little more, I'll get harnessed up and we'll be all safe. We're gonna get this section right here done as well. I'm gonna try and do 15 square today. 15 square is 45 bundles of shingles. It's ambitious, but I do have the lift. It's gonna make my life a lot easier, so. Let's get to work. really digging these pitch hoppers right here. They're so nice. I haven't tried them on the 1212 yet, but on the 1012, they work awesome. Maybe if you're a roofer or a construction guy, or you have to go up on roofs, even if it's just for small things, these are like the perfect thing for it. Doing the roof by myself and only having the lift and needing to use them to jump from section to section makes a big, big difference and it's so easy. Now back to the job at hand. Look at it guys. We matched up pretty close right here. As I was saying yesterday, we had to pull some chalk line or pull some measurements and chalk some lines to make sure that everything lined up all the way across from this side all the way over to this side since we had different starting points. I got it pretty stinking close. I think come about like an eighth to a quarter off, but I can fudge the shingles a little bit. I'll re-snap a line here and then we're just gonna readjust and get it all done. I am pretty amped that my measurements were right on. <laughs> So I spoke a little too soon when I said that I got it within a quarter of an inch, my shingle line. It was a quarter inch from one end to the other end of the house, but there is a little bit of a belly in part of the roof here. And so I'm having to do a little bit of adjusting. I couldn't just run it straight across. You'll never notice it from the ground, which is good. I'm pretty good. I still got it, but I wasn't quite as good as I thought I was. So sorry, everybody. I'm not perfect. I'm only a carpenter.
All right, everybody, uh, we're getting it done. I think by the end of next week, this whole roof, everything will be 100% done. And that's me doing it myself. May not seem that impressive, but I'm pretty impressed. So I'm just gonna... You wanna know, I'm proud of this. All right, time to get back to work. Bam!